This is a demonstration of my CCD linear array visual pinball plunger setup. Uh, you can see I have a flashlight in there as the light source. That's just a that's just for testing. When I'm, I'm going to ultimately put in some kind of real light source, probably a one of those little 350 milliamp RGB LEDs will be perfect for it. So I have this sensor. It's a uh, Taos uh, TSL 1410R linear CCD array it has 1280 pixels across this three inch range and then it's just a regular regular pinball plunger uh, the plunger casts a shadow on the Taos sensor and the sensor is connected to a microcontroller this little Freescale uh, KL25Z which reads the sensor probably every 25 milliseconds or so and it looks for the edge between the dark and the bright on the on the sensor. Uh, the the shadow is the dark part, the, where there's no where the plunger isn't casting a shadow. The pixels are bright because they're just seeing the light source directly. And the edge tells you where the plunger is. So this is just the visual pinball zero slope test table. I'm mostly doing this just for testing purposes right now. But you can see it has the plunger uh, on screen. Let me see if I can get both. The the physical and the on-screen plunger in the shot at the same time that looks pretty good. Okay, so as I pull back the plunger, the physical plunger, you can see the on-screen one pulls back It follows it pretty closely. It's pretty stable uh, and it has very good resolution. If I pull back very slowly, you can see it moves very linearly, keeps up with it, moves uh, probably is picking up uh, at the physical level on the sensor, I'm, I'm reading 160 of the 1280 pixels, basically every eighth pixel. And that, uh, so there's probably 30, 30 or so pixels an inch, 40 pixels an inch, something like that. So about a 40th of an inch resolution. And visual pinball, that's about visual pinball's resolution. You can see it it's, makes for a pretty smooth result. And it's uh, it's good for those skill shots. There's a lot of tables that have these skill shots where you just they're sensitive to about the first inch or so of the plunger travel, and that's one of the things I didn't like about the other pinball solution, the other plunger solutions I've tried is that they don't really have that kind of sensitivity and stability over small distances, uh, especially in the first little bit. So this should be pretty good for skill shots. This microcontroller also has an onboard accelerometer, and so I, I have that hooked up through the joystick interface as well for nudging. I can I'm just nudging the table here. You can see this is the, this is that zero slope table. Remember, so the ball shouldn't be going anywhere on its own, and in fact, it is pretty stable. Uh, the software that I wrote for the accelerometer has a nice feature, which is that it auto zeroes itself essentially continuously. If it doesn't see any motion for about five seconds, I think it is, it assumes that it's at a new zero, and so it picks that up. So it will definitely not drift over time the way some of these are reputed to. And in fact, it is pretty stable. As you can see, it's just kind of sitting there now, now that the momentum has worn off the ball. I'm not very happy with the physics of this yet. It doesn't feel very realistic to me with the nudging, so I'm going to have to tweak the parameters, but it's uh, it's encouraging that it's at least starting to work. So that's about it. That's where I am right now. I'm, I'll post plans for this once I get everything figured out, and I'll post the software as well. So it's uh, it should be something that anyone can replicate.